Director of Research and Innovation here at Trinity. Um, and we're delighted to, uh, to have this event as, as, as a, an effort to showcase to you uh, the, the great technology transfer activity we have in the university. And just to give you some numbers, you know, over the last three or four years, you know, we've had over 100 licenses uh, of our technology. We've had over nearly 500 uh, collaborative agreements with industry and over 17 spin-outs. This is a university where great science happens, where great engineering happens, and where great technology uh, is invented and commercialized. So my name is Matthew Campbell. I'm a lecturer in genetics. I also run a research lab here in the, the Department of Genetics. We have spun out a company. It's a, it's a Trinity campus company called Junction Therapeutics. And the focus of the company essentially is on enhancing drug delivery to the brain. Uh, Proverum is a, a device for the think called benign prostate hypoplasia, which is enlarging the prostate gland. So my name is Lucy O'Keefe. I am the CEO of Creva, and we're uh, an early stage uh, medical device company based here in Trinity and, and looking to, I suppose, imminently spin out. We're, we're a campus company and we're looking to repair one of the valves in your heart without the need for surgery. So, so I think it's very important for us to get the message out there that this is actually an education plan and, and that we want to help the students use it. And give a return to the university that Trinity has a part ownership of them, the companies I'm involved in, and there may be a payback then, you know, and obviously there's fees and the licensing and so on, and then the university can get some money from these things. And then they can, the university can then reinvest. Isn't it great that it, it is to, to be an entrepreneur, to, to try and commercialize something, to, to be self-employed, it is, that was a little, a little it had a bad perception and now it's very, very viable. Now, now the, the, the next thing is there a bit of a, there's a bit of hype around the startup world. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm a bit worried if every 19 year old wants to be a CEO, that's, that's a bit depressing as well. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> if, it's, if it's in some of them, that's great. But yeah, this idea that uh, and that it, it is a viable route uh, yeah. and it's celebrated and it's, it's respected. It Opportunity actually to train academics who want to do it. Isn't that when you agree to do it right? Is that, yeah, you agree with that? Absolutely. But also, if that if that is an issue, that might be them doing due diligence on said academic about are they the right person to commercialize? Yeah. Dare, dare say it's a it's a personality thing. Right? If this person can't get across their research in, in, yeah. a, in a compelling, uh, easy way, maybe they're maybe they're a brilliant researcher, but they're not quite the right person to, to bring. Well, it but you still need a chief scientist. As anyone would say, probably with lots of kind of senior positions, it's always challenging to find the perfect person. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you know it, it, you're, you're talking about a fairly you know, niche set of skills. That's whether it's probably CEO or CTO or, or a number of those key roles. With all these projects, it tends to be about risk management and de risk. And so yeah. at least when you have a proper understanding of where the potential pitfalls are, you can actually kind of focus your resources there.